welcome back everyone today i haven't met the video this time we're doing savile uh the reason why is because i think gecko moria is actually pretty 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 good on, on savile uh like of all the black leaders i think this one gets like a little bit of a slight advantage over the other ones because with savile you get to like protect him for free if you play like a brook or a nami so he doesn't die easily to like any black removal and also you at the same time you can play cards like Karasu, Zoro to get in rush the same turn, blockers, which are very good with Sabo, or even Kusan. So I think the uh the appealing factor of Gekko Moria is increased on this leader for for sure. So definitely wanna play for that one, try to high roll on that end. Um everything else is just geared to like have a good Gekko Moria target. Uh, we're gonna play the Strauss engine because we it allows us to search for um, Radical Beam, which is a really good defensive option. And then, uh, of course, we get Zoro, which going second is pretty good. Uh, we get Sanji, Usopp, and Brook, which are all targets that you can bring back with Gekko Moria. So that's why I'm playing these 2k counters. Uh, Nami, again, it just activates the leader ability for free, which is really good. Uh, at any point and you can bring it back with Gekko Moria so you always have the protection which is uh, like it allows you to play on curve very well so that, that's what I like about this uh, the blockers I'm playing Borsalino and Sabo which are pretty good on their own so I don't think you need more at the moment it just there is no space for any more uh, I'm playing some garb so you can go with a Kusan because if you go like turn two Kusan then turn four garb and KO something with the Kusan you get a lot of tempo that way it's another card that doesn't have any counter power, but it's still good enough. It's still good, decent enough to play in the deck for sure. So uh, I wanted to try it out. I uh, I don't have an, an opinion either way about this card just yet, um, but I think it's just very good on Sabo and in combination with Kusan, it just feels like a right card. And there's a lot of four costs or less that you want to KO anyway. So um, I think it works on the, on the leader very well, even either going second or going first you're pretty much always going to have a target for this thing. Uh, and yeah, that's, everything else is pretty much the same. I'm only playing one back to Manners because, uh, yeah, I mean, I just only have one. I mean, I, I mean, not only have one, I just uh, I want an, an extra layer of defense, but in case you draw too many of the bricks, because you do play a, a little bit of those. So um, it might be like a 3-2 split, but I, I, I like the three radical, the four radical beams. You can always keep them keep them up and because you have the blockers you're always at a good life total so uh, i did really like the radical beams in this deck so uh yeah that's why i'm playing uh full play set of uh, radical beams instead of like a three two split i i love the deck how it worked uh i think it could have some bad matchups versus sakatsuki maybe um yellow decks i mean you know their bs where they can always try to kill you uh with triggers out of life so uh, like that could always happen with this type of decks uh it's not like the most meta but i don't think anything is meta against yellow it's just like they either have they like enough triggers so they don't have it it's, it's kind of weird for that end um and yeah i mean the deck is uh pretty nice so let's go see some gameplay and a huge thanks to car market for sponsoring this video all right now we're gonna get some jamato auction um hmm let's mulligan for a blocker i think is better yeah. Uh, we get to play double Nami. Ooh, double Radical Beam. Oh, you know what? This is a good hand, actually. Uh, let's get 2k counters, I think. <laughs> it's the most important thing in this matchup. Uh, yeah, let's just get 2k counters. Let's see if he wants to attack for 8. Of course he does. Uh, let's... Combo. I think we can afford to take this combo here. That's good. Ooh, that Nami is good. Nah, I mean, it's okay, actually. Is whatever. Let's see if he attacks for a big Nami. But even if he does, uh, I think it's going to be fine. Yeah, this is okay. I'm okay with this. He's playing the yellow version, I think. So he's not... Um, I, I hopefully don't have to worry about the the um, what you might call it the um, 
the the a drop uh now let me think here what i need to do what i need to do is attack for five and then six uh maybe do they play the thunderbolt maybe i do play this just to play around the nami next turn am i playing this maybe sounds actually like a great idea let's combo these two attack so we can play Ugh. all right well that's a bit of a problem maybe does he have rest this guy this guy's hard to rest Oh, he doesn't know. He doesn't know I get the free block. Um, well, that's fine. It is good enough here. So let's attack this one. We don't think I don't think I need to attack the Okiku. Uh, play this one. Play this guy, play the Nami, give a free done here, and then let's attack the leader, and then let's attack the, uh, do we attack the Okiku? No, it's fine, I have three radical beams, I just want to KO my opponent. If he wants to attack my Nami, that's great. Oh yeah, we don't, we don't want to be, we don't want to be on this. Oh yeah, I'll block. <laughs> this is great. <laughs> is he gonna attack twice? He blocked twice. This guy is insane. <laughs> you got him. No, I don't think I can lose from here. Um. Oh, we can't even do this. Yeah, I mean, we do it. Let's do Nami to put it here. Attack for five, attack for six, attack for nine. We don't have to worry about his his board, honestly. And then we play the blocker. And we're chilling. We have double uh, radical beam. Three, I mean, three radical beams and a bunch of counter. We ain't losing this one, let me tell you. No blocker, just radical beam. Don't need to take any more. Don't need to block with this. A uh, blocker to do this guy. Eh, sure, whatever. Block. Use action. Uh, I could take one damage. Nah, why? Doesn't seem like a good idea. That's two cards in hand. There is no way that he can do much. I might even attack with the Borsalina first. I, I, I think he put the Thunderbolt on here. Not sure. But I think I'm going in this turn. I have enough counter to survive the next turn anyway. Uh, we put it here, but I think it doesn't matter. Attack for six. See if he takes it. He does not. Attack for six. Minus four. He probably just blocks. He doesn't want to get KO'd. Then attack for six. Cannot attack with this one. Such. That's fine still. Then we can attack with the Nami, I guess. Uh, one, two, three, 
that's five. Wait, I'm sorry, uh, four, five, six. Uh, let's do five and then six. We cannot attach any redstone because we don't have any. And then attack the leader. I know I cannot lose this turn, so it doesn't matter. He has to deal me a dual strike and then go through two radical beams. Not possible. Maybe if he has the A drop here, but even then, I don't really think so. He only has four cards in hand. Uh, sure, I'll just take this one, right? Uh, 2k. Uh, no blocker. Double radical beam. And then it's my turn. <laughs> Yeah, no, no one survives this one. Um, I mean, just attack with this guy, honestly. <laughs> no way you should have combo out of this. He has enough to combo out of that, but it doesn't matter. You see, he had the uh, the issue, but it didn't matter. I have enough combo power, so it just really doesn't matter. <laughs> All right, and we get our uh, Karakuri matchup. Um, I like this hand. It's not bad, actually. Uh, are we going second? They choose to go second. We don't really have anything going first. I mean, I, I think it's fine. Uh, keep. Let's see what we encounter out of the life. Do we want to play Brook? Not really. We're for life leader. Kind of rough out there. I think he just ignores my, my leader. I think that's what's going to end up happening, but it's fine. Ooh. Right, let's attack for this much. Seven. That way, at least we don't get uh, Okiku. Okay, we didn't get triggered. <laughs> Step number uno. Uh, yeah, we'll definitely get this Radical Beam. Pretty decent. Now we can attack at this thing if he attacks with this one, although I don't really think so. He's playing this engine. Weird. Left it at the top, huh? Ah. Is it an Okiku? Hmm. It probably is, but... I'm not gonna combo out of eight, that's too much. And then I'm just gonna play the Kusan. Hopefully we draw into a Garp. Garp would be like one of our best cards here. I think, cause yeah, we can play uh, Kusan and Garp and kill whatever he plays. Uh, double Radical Beam is good. It allows us to survive a little bit longer. Oh, he didn't play. Interesting. All right, let's see what he does now. Six done. Um, I mean, there's a lot of things that he can do for six. We'll see which one is the one that he chooses. Can do Gadatsu, but doesn't do anything really. I mean, he kills the Nami, but sure. Seven. Probably should have combo out of the seven. Sounds like a plan. Get rid of the Nami. So we can play her back with Gekko Moria. I'm looking for a play in between, but I do want to... Oh, he moved up to the bottom. Interesting. Okay, that's a great play right now. 
uh, I like that more than anything else. Um, am I attacking for a big number here? I think I want to take some 2Ks out of his hand, maybe. And then... I don't know if I need to keep this, the Radical Beam. I probably would. Ah, nah. Let's go for, for a big attack here. I don't need to keep Radical Beam this turn. Because if he attacks double at this one, I'm not going to be able to defend it. So, it's kind of weird. And then, what? He's at 8. He's going to play Big Mom. Uh, he's gonna attack for six. He's gonna play big mom. Yeah, so we should defend this one And that way we can burn alive and it will be fine Yeah, okay, it works out I'll get to block with this one use ability and then we burn the life Well, we didn't need to get Komoria anyway, so it works out in the end for us. So nine, I want to keep up the radical beam and I want to keep up, what do I want to keep up? Do we play another Nami? Uh, yeah. We could play Brook. Oh, we don't have a card to play with the, I guess we play Nami on both Namis. Hmm, that was an oversight, I guess. Should have let something die. Or should have discarded something else, I guess. What do we do here? Ah, oh, we're definitely playing Gekko Moria. I'm just don't, not entirely sure if I'm going to be pressuring too much. Let's play... Nami. No, Brook is harder to kill, I guess. On uh, second Nami? Yeah, that's fine. Let's get some value here. What do we get here? 2k Connor? Probably fine, yeah. And then here I should keep this up and then attack for five and attack for seven at the leader trying to deal damage here he's gonna play tendra big mom I assume The problem is, I uh, probably have to go for game next turn. In all honesty. If he plays a 10 drop big mom, do I, can I really afford to play around that? I don't know, I don't think so. Because then he's going to have the uh, top my Borsalino. And then he can just go for game that way. It's weird. Am I gonna play a second Gekko Moria? Maybe he doesn't... Um, interesting. Uh, we, it's based on what he does here, I guess. He hasn't hit any triggers either. So we're in a much better spot. Oh, this is not Big Mom. We're winning. Hard. <laughs> now we have a good target for a second Gekko Moria. Was he gonna play another Big Mom? This one's 
Now I will grant him a life because we can play it a little bit slower since he didn't play the 10 drop. Uh, do we keep two done up? No blocker. Just combo. No blocker, use a radical beam. I think this is fine. You get to free block this one. And then I don't know what he does with six on. Oh, he could. No, not really tap. He could do. No, not really that one. I'm thinking about the, um, the one that can KO up four or less, but not without doing something else. Then we're good. What is it called? The, the four cost that can kill any five or less, but not, I mean, it doesn't do anything here. I gotta be careful about the uh, top my blockers and go for game. Those cards are very, very obnoxious for us to deal with. What does it play? Agadatsu? No, I mean, that's okay. It's not something that is gonna win the game, I don't think. Okiku, Okiku, okay. Alright, so we're gonna do some cleanup here. Attack this one. And then we're gonna play this, play the other guy. We don't need to. Yeah, we don't need to play more. Nothing else, yeah. Use this guy, play this guy here, and then not play the other one. Choose the leader so it's difficult for him to, to block. And then, I don't know, it doesn't matter. gonna give me a 2k and I have to survive next turn I think because this turn I'm not gonna be able to kill uh, to like just kill him I do want to attack this one here because he's gonna have more attackers than I can kill him with I probably don't force him to take the life oh he's gonna take it anyway uh, that forces me to attempt to go for a game, I guess. I might as well attack with this one, right? He has enough attacks to maybe go for a game. Oh, fuck. Oops, oops. All right, well, um, I mean, next turn we kill him anyway, so it doesn't matter. Um, we just need to survive this. Uh, at least here, at least here is set and done. I'm not gonna lie, but maybe, maybe he doesn't have too many of the uh, Amaru's, uh, the three thousand bolts or whatever the case. I mean, ideally, he doesn't have any, but uh, they usually play like three or four of that one. So I assume he he can tap the blocker and and go for game. But might as well force him to do so because maybe he doesn't have it and and we get away with that. But the first thing that he attacks with, I'm just gonna block with. Ah, uh, no, I guess he would have. I don't know. I think he wants to do this, but maybe he has the KO ability and he doesn't have the um, the rest ability. But the KO ability gets countered by this. I don't know, but he himself cannot be KO'd, so... I mean, I don't know what he has, to be honest. 
If he attacks this guy, he's gonna die. <laughs> I'm not gonna defend this. We have nine plus two. I mean, we have two life and decent enough hand size to maybe survive here. This radical beam is really what pushes over the top. Because he has to attack for nine on each attack, at the very least. So he's going for it, he's going with Amaro. This is nine. We'll take the first nine because he forces him to do another nine. Oh, attacking for seven. That is a good one. I will combo to that one though. This nine is gonna connect for sure. No, he could attack for six and connect. Actually, he kind of wins here if he attacks for six. Because then I have to out-combo this if he has another Amaru. One, two, three, one, two, three, that's another nine. I cannot out-combo. If he does it right, he wins. He attacks for six on this one, I have to take. Attacks for nine on this one. Uh, now it might be possible to out-combo him. Nine, nine. I'll take this one. He goes 8, 9. Yeah, I think he, he wins anyway. Because of this attacker. Oh, yeah, of course that card too. No, wait, actually that card... Oh, no, yeah, he has 9, 9. Um, yeah. Oh, he's yellow for you, of course. Yeah, double Amaro anyway. Yeah, this is going to be your worst matchup, I think. Uh, they have this bunch of cards that just heals themselves. And you have to be aggressive enough to where you can kill them. Or they start playing 10 drop big moms. But yeah. yeah. Usually it's not... It is what it is, right? All right. And we're going to play against uh, Sakatsuki, which is one of our worst matchups probably. Because they can bottom deck or stuff. Uh, but that's fine. Uh, I'm gonna keep. We have double draw. Probably is very important in this matchup. At least we don't get um, Rob Lucy as easily. But they do have a lot of bottom decks in the deck, so it makes it a lot harder for sure. Now I could play the Sanji. Is this something that I want to be doing? Not entirely sure. Since he's gonna be removing a lot of my cards, I don't think I'm gonna. I want to take my life. I'm not. <laughs> Could be good, but it could also be bad, so let's take it slow here. Now, question is if he, if I play this one. No, yeah, I have to play the Kusan. If he removes it with a Rob Lucy, but he's not going to, yeah, he, he cycles the Rob Lucy because he knows that probably Rob Lucy is not going to be as good this matchup. I probably should combo out of this one. Because again, the problem is that he's going to out-combo a lot of our attacks. And he's going to do Hound Blazes and stuff, so... Probably better to not take damage here. Attack here. Oh, he cycled that one. We have the Gekumoria, which is good. Uh, definitely one of the cards that I want to see. We could combo the Nami. Oh, although... Yeah, we can play the Nami next turn. Probably okay. Play a second Kusan. And yeah, just combo the Nami, play her back with Gekko Moria. Sounds good. He didn't... Okay, that's good. I will combo the Nami here. Since I have double this guy. Ooh. Now I have to play the Kusan, right? Because I can combo the Borsalino and get it back. I can do a lot of things here. Ooh. That Nami is also good. Do we want to keep that one? But he has, like, these abilities. I don't know if I want to play a one drop into that. Nah, I'm, I'm okay with this. 
and I just yeah I just attacked double here double six should be nice it's gonna be difficult to remove and then we have this so we can play next turn with the Gekko Moria and we can combo the Nami so you, we can have protection on the same turn you know what I kind of like that Um, no blocker, let's combo two here. I, wa I wanted to combo these two so I can bring them back and I can do uh, shenanigans with uh, Gekko Moria. And then he's gonna attack it, I can use the leader ability. That's fine. Uh, use the ability. Although he could use Rob Lucy now, I guess. He could bounce back and do all this stuff. No, not Rob Lucy. Rob Lucy doesn't work. He has to be Humbleys. Uh, he did it incorrectly, though, but I take it. <laughs> he should have removed the one that is untapped and attacked the other one. But I'll take it. And I think I'll attack this one because it doesn't really matter. Ooh, a rusher is actually pretty decent. Uh, I'll attack the leader. He has too many two costs to be attacking the uh, the battle cards. I don't think it's good. Um. Play this one, get back Borsalino, get back the Nami. Now use Nami ability to use it on Sabo so we have protection. And it's looking good right now. We have a blocker, we have protection. That's looking pretty good. He, The Nami is going to die, but I, it, she was just good for that one turn. I just wanted her to... Uh, to have my leader ability active. That's the main reason why. <clears throat> so I have a lot of protection here. Next turn, I can definitely just play Kar Karasu and the, the Rusher. And it's going to be a good turn, I think. Yeah, that's going to be a really good turn next turn. This two. Uh, I can just block that one. That's fine. Don't need to use any done. What's he gonna do? Nine Gecko Moria? Gecko Moria doesn't even do anything. I don't think. Ah, okay, he's gonna play the Rebecca. I mean, it doesn't do much. He just plays a couple of cards, but it doesn't remove my board, and my board is kind of scary right now. <sighs> okay, he's gonna remove my Gecko Moria. Wait, no, that he doesn't remove my Gecko Moria. I'll just make him minus one. <laughs> I think my leader understood. My opponent understood the, the leader's ability. Uh, no blocker, but give him a 2k. Ooh, double crow could also be good. Is that what I want to do? No, I want to be rush this turn. I'll do the, the second uh, crow next turn. I do want to get rid of the Sabu. Nah, nah, let's attack the leader. Because we can attack for sixes super well here. It has to give us two cards on each attack. Uh, let's do it on this one. I don't think he's going to defend anyway. Uh, I play the Zoro. Give it some juice. And if, if we can attack the uh, the leader, whatever, it doesn't matter. This is gonna get blocked. 
and then we have to survive here. I think we just keep the blocker, right? Although he could just bottom deck it. Is it better to just force him to go for game on these cards? Do we have enough to survive? We probably do. So yeah, I'm just gonna attack with everything. Force him to have to go for game next turn. Oh, he doesn't even have enough for this. <laughs> uh, well, crazy. <laughs> All right, we're gonna play against Yamato, and um, this is a pretty decent hand. Kind of want to find. Ooh, hold on, that's actually pretty good. Uh, here to get Radical Beam, of course. Here to get. I could get a two K, or I could get this one. What do I think is better right now? Because I'm gonna out combo here. So I get a 2k counter, I think is better. Yeah. Let him go. He's going to attack for 8. We get to a combo 2 cards here. Uh, no blocker. 1 and uh, 2. Pretty good. Next turn we get to do 5 and 6. Now he cannot play uh, Yamato out of the life, which is great. So he has to combo out of two attacks here. Then he's gonna attack us again for like a big number. And then we get to play Sabo. So everything kind of works out there. Unless he does the Banish. Uh, if he does Banish, it's kind of bad. But it's fine, we have the blocker anyway. And now we drew the Gekko Moria, so it's kind of fine, honestly. He kind of really wants to um, to defend here because um, because he won't get any value out of the like playing cards for free. Oh, he didn't. Gotcha. Let him go. Yeah, Momosuke is not going to do much here. He's going to do the uh, set up a trigger, which is fine. I'm okay with that. I think the, the, the getting banished here would have been better for him. But this way he can set up the... Um, whatchamacallit? Okay, okay, this is good. So I assume he's going to play uh, Nokiku for free here. No. Interesting. Well, in that case, we have already this one, so we don't need this one. And, ooh, we maybe just get the blocker here. Yep. That's great. <clears throat> Let him go. Now we have a blocker for his Yamato. This one is really hard to deal with, so we can just block. Ah, oh, these blockers are <laughs> insane against Yamato. So good. Ah, he gets this one. So he's gonna get uh, uh, two triggers here, I think. But that's fine. It's not. It's not a big deal. I'm just gonna attack for five. See what he does. Uh, let's play this one. Let's play this one. And then let's play this one. Give two here. Attack for seven. I wonder if it's a Thunderbolt. Probably is the Thunderbolt. It's not. Oh, don't worry. I'm just passing turn here. <laughs> Oh, you could play the Hardy Jones. That doesn't kill me, really. All right, take a life. Next turn, you're going to die. I have the answer, the Karazu. Uh, block. 
a lock and lock. Oh wait, he has double double strike. <gasps> I'm dead. <laughs> I I I messed up. Oh, we're not dead. Uh, did he use the leader ability? Oh, he did use the leader ability. Oh, okay, okay. Oh, we're playing this and we're going in. I thought I was dead. I don't know. I don't know what happened, but definitely just deploying this. Start attacking for sixes. Six, six. Unless that's a beige, in which case I couldn't play around that. Oh, you're dead. We got him. <laughs> we got through the BS. Oh, I actually don't know why I thought I could survive this. I should have attacked last turn, probably. No, that's fine. It's fine. He played it well. He played it well, but we had enough. We got two 2k counters out of life. That's what matter. But I should have maybe keep... No, I mean, I don't know why I could have done better, to be honest. He just had the Hody Jones into... into a lot of damage. All right, and for the final plots on this deck, um, definitely one uh, deck that I really wanted to explore uh, with this Gekko Moria. I think it's one of the best Gekko Moria decks. Because uh, usually people just play Gekko Moria because it fits the deck. But this one in specific, uh, I think Gekko Moria just does a little bit more uh, because of his ability and because of the lead, how the leader works. So uh, I really think this deck uh, has has legs. I don't know if it's uh, uh, more than like a four-star leader maybe. I think it has enough good cards to make it a four-star deck. But I don't know if it's good enough to be like a, a meta competitive deck. I'm not entirely sure of that. Four life leaders against yellow decks are kind of like in a... It's, it's like very difficult because they, they do too much. They burn your last life. And then they it's really difficult when they have reject, take your own life, the last life. And then it's really difficult to defend from there. Even with the blockers.